welcome all of my friends welcome to the english kunju channel some fictitious stories are interesting than the real stories but some rumors are very much interesting and stranger than the fiction and seems to be a real one in our hindu temples we might have noticed the yali the cruel animal in standing posture on the pillars it is a mythical creature seen in our hindu temples especially in south india It is sculpted on the pillars which shows the artist talents the statues are made as a partially a lion a part of a horse or an elephant or a bird like structure they are believed to be protecting the temples one such cruel animal loch ness monster were believed to be living in scotland highland the animal was a aquatic long bodied animal with one or more humps protruding from the water loch ness is a large freshwater lake extending for 37 km southwest of scotland loch ness means a big lake in local scottish language if i tell scotland so many things come to your mind scotland is famous for many things scotch whiskey is one of them everybody loves it bagpiper is a traditional musical instrument bagpiper whiskey is also famous in india especially in south india tamilian loves it like their mother during the 6th century this monstrous animal believed to be lived in scotland as per the available stone carvings the first sight of the monster was uh, recorded in history by 565 ad after the death of christ one saint columba an irish monk was uh, traveling through the forest found a group of people burying a man on the banks of the river When the monk asked them what happened they told him that the man tried to cross the river was attacked by a monstrous animal which came from the underwater the saint put a cross symbol on the air like this and told the animal to go back and order the animal not to attack their men the monster suddenly turned back and run helter shelter then until 1800 years there was no recording of the sighting of this animal there was occasional reporting of sighting of this monster but there was no evidence to prove it in 1933 a local couple claimed to have seen the monsters crossing the road in front of them as they were traveling in a car they stopped their car to watch the animal the monsters without attacking them moved towards the lake they described the animal was very large with a long neck but uh, they could not see the legs of the animal this incident was reported to the daily mail newspaper which published the news the press people engaged a professional hunter mr vidral to locate and kill the animal this news was talk of the year those days along the side of the lake he found some big footprints measuring 20 feet in length but the zoologist from the natural history museum determined that the tracks were identical and made with an umbrella stand which had a hippopotamus leg base thus the role of the hunter was proved to be a fake one after those incidents so many people reported that they have seen the monster here and there and there was no proof for their stories in 1934 a english physician robert kenneth wilson photographed the creature and later it was called the surgeon's photograph which showed the head and neck of the animal protruding from the water like this the daily mail newspaper published the photograph which had become a sensational news throughout the world many people speculated that the creature was a plesiosaur a marine reptile which might have come from the sea and that had become now extinct the monster hunters swarmed the lake ness area was from 1987 to 2003 to take at least a glimpse of that animal but in vain there were many underwater cameras that were kept under the water to watch the movement of the animal most of the photos taken by the people proved to be a fake one or photoshopped images in 1994 the surgeon's photograph also was proven as a fake one in 2018 researchers conducted a dna survey of loch ness to find out if the creature really exists no evidence of plesiosaurs living underwater but there were several eels living in the lake was proven the belief of loch ness monster brought many tourists from all over the world which contributed 80 million dollars revenue income per year to scotland government how is it if we start spreading rumors of yalis 
moving around our temples we also would attract a tourist there is no value for truths nowadays only rumors exist and survive and spread faster than this corona okay friends that's all for now i will come with another story friends jai hind